So have you ever wondered exactly how do these IPTV pirates get core? I mean, this is actually one of the best articles I've ever read today posted on Torrent Freak, and it really goes into the detail on how the authorities, the tools they use, the websites, the applications to try and track down who is actually behind these IPTV operations. And, and it talks about the authorities using uh, OSINT or OSINT, which is open source intelligence. So if I just scroll down and it's saying that online piracy is often described as a game of whack-a-mole, which basically means you take out one operation and another one pops up. You try and take that down and another three open up. So it's a constant battle between the authorities and these IPTV sellers. Now it talks about from an average pirate's perspective, this game of whack-a-mole is completely pointless. And the reason for that is for you as an end user, you find a IPTV subscription, you pay for that. It gives you the access to those channels, to those movies, to those TV shows. And if for whatever reason that now gets shut down because Ace have jumped on or FACT or MPNA or all the different authorities, from your point of view, you just now go and find another provider. So it really doesn't matter too much to you, but you can see from the point of the authorities, they want to disrupt this process. They want to make it as hard as possible for anybody to get into this game. And they can now leverage these online tools to basically show people or anybody else thinking about getting into this game, don't try it, we're onto you. We can very quickly track you down. We can issue fines, we can take you to court, or even worse, we can actually give you jail time or for being involved in this IPTV operation. And it's interesting point because as they appreciate they're never gonna kill piracy completely, it's not gonna really make any difference. And for many people, they're never gonna switch to a legal service. And I did ask this question in my last video, and it's quite interesting that many of you did say that if the official services were, let's just say at a reasonable price, maybe eight, nine dollars to get all of your favorite channels. For example, many people would pay for that official service. But as you know, with many of these large corporations, their aim is to make maximum money. So they're not gonna charge prices like that. They charge 100, 200, 300 dollars, depending on your package. Now this is the key part here. So they're talking about the open source intelligence. So this is now leveraging these tools, uh, search engines, applications, different services online, to harvest online data to try and track down who is the source or who's running this operation. And there's actually a really great framework here, which I'll see if I can open up. And this is what the tool looks like. So we can see in terms of harvesting data, they can search for usernames, people's email addresses, social networks, you know, dating sites, um, lots of different things in here, guys. So let's say for example, they're searching for usernames. So let's click on that. So now they can use different username search engines, or maybe they can target certain websites. Let's try this one here. And they can now look for your Amazon name or your GitHub name. Uh, for example, if you look at your IP address, we can see if they pick up your IP address, they can get your geolocation. They can use these different websites here to track where the IP address belongs to. Uh, they can look at different um, blacklists, for example, um, they can look at IP loggers. So again, lots of different services available, completely free online, all open source and harvesting the data from these, they can try and find out or try and track who is running these operations. Um, you've got business records. Now you can imagine many of these IPTV resellers are not going to try and use, you know, any information or any real information or minimize any real information they use online. but. When it comes to payments, for example, they can try and track your banking data, whichever method of payment you're using. If you're using a website to advertise your IPTV service, they can do lookups on who owns the website. If you have adverts on your website, it's very easy to find your publisher ID from Google. They can do a reverse check on that and find who owns this publisher ID and again, pull out your details. So just literally so much information available online then you have things like personal creation. So I know many people do use this fake name generator if you are registering for certain services. Um, I think I used it once when I was trying to register my TiVo, which can only be registered with a USA address. So I have used that before, but you can just see the amount of data that's available online. 
and now using these different tools, they can actually scan this data and look for key indicators to try and find out who is running this IPTV operation. Now here's another example for this ulango.tv, which is another solution which offered thousands of live TV channels through their app. And we can see through this presentation that they just look through the site's uh, domain name, use the Whois lookup, basically who owns this domain, they're able to obtain IP addresses and the details of the company hosting the server. Next, they use this tool here, which basically allows you to search for a website and then it shows you all of the sublinks, all of the different websites associated to that top level website. So this basically allowed them to find a Twitter account, again, just gathering more information, more different social media accounts, different handles online, all associated back to this website. Then they were able to search for emails, lots of different things. And eventually when it came to payment, they're able to track down through payment information who actually owned this operation. And as soon as they got a name of a company, which happened to be in the UK, all companies registered in the UK are publicly searchable in company's house. As long as you have the company name, you can search for it and it gives you the owners, the information, the directors, the shareholders, all of that information is actually publicly held and anybody can search for it. So you can imagine as soon as they got the name of the company, they were then quickly able to find who was actually running this and then they took the appropriate measures. So it really is interesting, guys, because it just shows you that because of these now online tools, these open source tools, they literally just scour through them, search through them using any information that they do have, whether it's your website ID, whether it's a username, whether it's an IP address, and using a combination of all these tools, they now have much better chances of tracking down who is running these illegal IPTV operations. So you can see guys, the authorities are, I wouldn't say stepping up, but they definitely have more tools available to them. And from their point of view, it's gonna make the process easier to help them find who's actually behind these illegal operations. So just before you go, guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're not happy with your current VPN, Hype Vanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks, whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, I think it's an absolute no brainer. And the offer is only for the next two weeks. So if you are interested, definitely have a look in the video description or the pinned comment. I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So please do leave me a comment below and let me know what do you think about these online tools that the authorities are now using to track down these IPTV resellers. Do you think they're going to win or is it just going to be a losing battle? So do leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.